Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit Systems. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Good day, silent scientists. I'm on silent, and we're on the air with Half-Life. Current temperature is 93 degrees. From 1998, this is one of the all-time great video games of all time. I know I said all time twice, but it really is considered that good. The Half-Life franchise by Valve Software at the time is Valve Corporation. You might have heard of them. You probably bought the game on their store, you know, Steam, that one. That's what I bought it on, probably for like a buck or two, to be perfectly honest. And it's a 20-year-old game, as obviously you could tell from the graphics, built on the Quake engine, and then repurposed and fixed up and tweaked into what Valve called the Gold Source Engine. Is that a rocket or a missile? That's too small to be like a rocket like space travel. It looks like a missile. I've never played, I know, I know for something with me on the channel, right? I've never played Half-Life before. But that's why we're here, or I'm here, is to play old video games for the first time. Classics such as Half-Life. The Half-Life franchise is considered among the great fran- Oh, Gabe Newell, I know that name. <laughs> I know Gabe's name. But this is one of the great franchises, one of the great games of all time. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the hype is about 20 years. It came out in 1998, so this is some hype well after the fact. Why couldn't we just take the chopper in? evacuated first. Please, stay away from electrified... I wonder if that's going to be the end result of the game, is get to the chopper! Until assistance arrives. But we're taking the tram into the Black Mesa Research Facility. I am familiar, more or less, with the universe. I'm a big Portal fan. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but... Portal and Portal 2 are among my favorite games of all time. So I am aware of Black Mesa, it being... An Half-Life being all in the same universe. I know there is some sort of rivalry between the two. Oh, it's waiting for the... I thought the game broke. No, it was just waiting for the door to close there. We are Gordon Freeman, a male aged 27. I'm vaguely... He's a PhD. In, from MIT in theoretical physics, so he's Dr. Gordon Freeman, although he's only a research associate at Black Mesa. In the anonymous, anomalous, sorry, materials laboratory with clearance level three. I don't know if that's good or not. Administrative sponsor classified. Ooh. And disaster response priority discretionary. Does that mean, like... I'm not a priority if there's a disaster, or... That's not very reassuring. I do like... You know, I know we're three minutes into this, but I do like... All the crap that's going on around here, because you got this... I don't want to call it a, a... Like, it's a walker robot thing that's lifting stuff. You had the tram going, you had the chopper, you had the missile. All... Closing doors, it's a whole... Everything is happening at this facility. It's like a living facility. It's not just like window. Well, I mean, it, it is window dressing unless we go back and we, we're going to see all this happening again. But, you know, it's all done in real time. And it's not a cutscene. You know, it's not, sorry, not a cinematic. See, there's another, another robot there. And, oh, another tram. He's going that way, and we're going this way. Speaking of contacting your radiation safety officer, has anyone contacted one about that? This doesn't seem good. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Now, is this our stop? Because it's the first stop we have made. 
please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. I'm sorry. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Don't leave your personal belongings behind on the train. Mr. Freeman, looks like you're running late. Oh, am I? Well, the tram was taking too long. It said it was 8.40, what, 8.49 or something like that? I was trying to pick up bits and pieces while I was talking. And I did hear that it was pretty, pretty warm out. You're keeping it, what, like 68 in here, which is about 20C. They said something like it was like in the high 80s, low 90s or something like that was the current temp, and then over 100 Fahrenheit for the high for the day. Being Canadian, those numbers mean little to me. I know 68 is 20. Because it's uh, the Fahrenheit number, or the Celsius number, is times 1.8 plus 32. I guess you're not coming with me, Mr. Security Guard? Okay. I know 90 Fahrenheit is 30, 31, 32 in that range. And I think once you cross 100, anomalous materials. Is that the area we're in? Or is that like a... Like a story title, or... But I guess we're inside. Well, we were inside Black Mesa Research. Black Mesa Facility. We're in Sector C. I wonder if, I should run that I wonder if we're sort of in the top right. Because you've got that bridge there. I wonder if that's the bridge that was out to the tram system there. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. No, that's always a good way to start the day. I can tell you've got a problem with your system because you got the blue screen of death. Now, it's not that bad, because beyond the blue screen of death, there's the black screen of death. I do have a story about that that I will tell at some point. Uh oh, what did I do? I was trying to talk to him. Come on, Gordon, you trying to get me into trouble? Uh, I was just trying to say hi, but apparently I broke something. I can't be bothered right now. Well, beyond the blue screen of death, there is a black screen of death. If you get the black screen of death, you have no idea what is going on, do you? No, I don't actually. <laughs> Self awareness. Man, even the laptop in the stereo cabinet is broken. There, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Man, he's a bit of a testy prick. Aren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Man, not a lot of friendly people around here. I'm guessing that bright white dot is us because it said we were in New Mexico. I don't know off the top of my head where the... Uh, Aperture Science Headquarters was. Hello. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Well, you almost walked into me. That's how busy you are. Oh, wait. These colors mean something. Hang on. Back this way. Hi. Have to... Let's see. Anon Anomalous Materials Labs. Anonymous Material Lab Development. Oh, Research Development and Personnel Facilities. All right. Do 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 do. I'm just casually going about my day. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Leave. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Not very friendly, folk. All right. Scientist in the hi. That's an animated little chat that they're having. You faintly hear something through the window, but. That was an animated little chat there. Have it. Speaking of animated chats, I'm just drawing on the whiteboard. Hi. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Okay, chat with uh, him. It's good to see you. Likewise, Doctor. What's your face? No, I can't move the chair. I can move the chair. There, move the chair. As I expected. There we go. Got out. Coolant Reserve Facility. 
Hello. Sorry, sir. I've got to stay at my post. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. So I guess we'll go back the other way. Where the blue and green ones went, unless... Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Hello. Are you guys responsible for all the blue screens in this place? It's not very good that you've blue screened on the day of an important test that I'm late for. I was saying, you can black screen a computer. That's kind of beyond blue screen. I once had a client at my job in real life. Right when I first started, like, I might have been on, like, you know, they sent me out of my out of the office in my first job, and I was out maybe two or three days. And on the same day, the computer black screened, because it was blue screening for my client. Left, right, always go right. It was blue screening for him. And I suggested, well, why don't you hit it with a hammer to fix it? I didn't think he was actually going to do it. So he goes, he gets his hammer. He has a hammer. He's an accountant. He has a hammer. Greetings. Greetings yourself. He has a, he has a hammer. On a shelf above his desk, he grabs it, whacks his desktop with it, like his tower with it, and immediately goes from blue screen to black screen. So he completely bollocks up his... Oh, look, hey. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. I got you a drink. Someone has hidden my glasses again. Oh, well, I guess I didn't get you a drink. I guess I drank his drink. All right. Can we play around with the... My God, what are you doing? I was pushing buttons and I seem to have exploded. Well, I guess you shouldn't have left it in for so long. Do, 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 run away. And so he ended up black screening his computer by hitting it with a hammer. And then not so coincidentally, they had a fire, so they had to clear out the building for the day. So that was an interesting, like... Why do we all have... Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I agree. Ties are ridiculous, just in general. This is all within theoretical limits. What? Okay. That's odd. Oh, there's my locker. I guess that's my degree, my thermos, my coffee mug, and my copies of the Orchid Eater, and is that the... 37th Mandela. The rest of the, uh, I hope those rest of the facilities. As I expected. <clears throat> oh, is it Octo? Oh, they're both Occupado. This is, uh, very unlike me to- Ooh! Hazard suit. I played the training course. So I can- There was a lever back there, wasn't there? Yes. I played the training course so I could figure out what the hell I was doing before I got too far in. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. I impact reactive armor activating atmospheric contaminant sensors activating power design uh -huh. I like that you pick up your hazard suit, the music kicks in, it's walk as it's trying to not so excitedly walk you through all the safety features. I am not going this way? No, do we want blue? Left, yes, left. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? To the blue place. Since this is the one way we have it's gone. Ah, it's good to see you. Looks like you're in the barrel today. I'm in the barrel. What's the barrel? The only barrels I'm vaguely aware of. Oh, security clearance level three. Conveniently enough, that's what we have.
It's not very secure. If both doors are allowed to be open at the same time, they should both be closed. Or one should be open, one should be closed. Some uh, Black Mesa propaganda, including the security force defending America, I guess. And there's the hydroelectric dam. Which, uh... I'd imagine it's important. It's good that they're getting their power from renewables, though. If you're running a big scientific lab, you should probably, well, I guess something this size. Our tram. Technology, the loader bot there. Working as a team. I'd say, I'd say get your diversity quota up, but, like, at the same time, they're all over the age of 60 from the looks of it, so. Oh, um, oh Army, it says on the chopper there, so. I guess we're tied in with the... United States military, somehow, some way. Oh, I guess we're not. Oh, no, we are. It buzzed oddly. I was thinking, okay, I guess we're not taking the lift. That door should also close before the lift moves. Just safety thing. It worries me everything's going wrong. We're still going to run the experiment. Oh, by the way, everything here seems like it's a death trap. Including the exposed thing of electricity. Uh, yeah, that does not look safe. We've just got electricity flowing around in the mesh fence thing there. Oh, what do the colors mean? Control room, test, lab access, plasma cells, ionization, chambers. Caution laser. Hello. hello. Sorry, you said hello there wrong. Say it again. You supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago. Yes, yes, everyone keeps telling me that you're supposed to say hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. You know, Obi Wan Kenobi. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Fine, be that way. I don't know what that means, but we've got water. Oh, they're heating up the water, making steam. I'm guessing they're using steam to, you know, kind of heating up the water and using the steam for power generation, I would imagine. Kind of like a nuclear power plant. Because they use the splitting of atoms to generate heat to do steam power turbine type things, I think. Oh, the gang's all here. To report that situation. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. Res the administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. Waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Okay, we can do that. Greetings. Hello. Now, I don't suppose this might be the test chamber, since this is, like, the red line disappeared. No, the red line is, oh, I'm only going this way. One of the lines disappeared, and there's only two more colored lines guiding me this way. Hello, Gordon It's about to look critical. Well, that's not gone well. Everything else is going wrong, why not this? Going on with our equipment. It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. You know, this seems like it's just ready for an unmitigated disaster today. Don't you just get that feeling everything's going wrong? Does not inspire a lot of confidence. Alright, we're going to the test lab. Yes, we're going to follow the red line. I wish it was painted on the ground so that we could say the yellow brick road. But red stucco wall just doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Is the door going to... Oh, you have to walk into the door to open it. Hi, boys. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. 
Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Stable. Oh, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. You. Go ahead. Let's let him in now. So basically everything's gonna go wrong, is what you're trying to say. Alright. What have we... Oh, that's the window that we were looking out of earlier. This is a cage. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Unfortunately. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Spell. Uh, he did say climb up, so I assume it's up the ladder. There. Now start the... That's the rotor we're starting. Should it be steaming like that already, or this is just warming up? Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Okay. Seeing predictable phase arrays. That looks like a. It's dangerous. But it hasn't exploded yet. Two emitters activating now. That looks a little more explodey. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. Well, what do I do next? Overhead capacitors to one, four and five percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds. Sustaining signals. None of this sounds particularly promising. Ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Oh yeah, I see it right in the center of the screen. All right. We are gonna go grab it, don't you worry. I'll even run. And jump over the railing, too. So we just gotta... Oh, I'm a little... Insertion for a non-standard specimen. I think I put it in wrong, don't worry. Shut it down. Down. Oh. Every... I've got it under control. No, I don't. Okay, the control room's dead. I'm just going to... Very stealthily move over to the door. Somebody open the door! Wait, that's a thing there. That's an alien thi look at thing. I don't think I should have moved to the door. Well, I'm still breathing, so I think I'm not dead. Oh! Oh! Ah! Homicidal thing! the hell is hi don't eat me unforeseen consequences yeah I think okay that thing's shooting at me and killing me so I think this might be a good point for us to call it an episode, so thanks very much for joining us as we go through Half-Life.
or what's left of Black Mesa anyway. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air. And as for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.